Assume that you're still in charge of planning the FCC movie marathon. Remember, we have four types of movies, action, comedy, drama, and horror. Assume somebody also brought a thriller, so now we have five types of movies total. In order to find out the order of the movies, you decide to throw all the names in a hat and plan to draw one name out of the hat at a time, and the order will be determined by how they're pulled out of the hat. What we want to know is what is the probability that the thriller is played fourth and the horror movie is played fifth. Again, anytime we calculate a probability, it's simply the number of ways that our event could happen divided by the number of total ways that this scenario could play out. So we need to count up the number of ways that this precisely could happen. The thriller is played fourth and the horror movie is played fifth. And divide that by the number of ways that anything could happen the number of total possibilities for how these movies could be ordered. So let's start with the numerator. Let's start with counting how many ways could the thriller be played fourth and the horror movie be played fifth. If we use the fundamental counting principle, we think about, well, there's five slots to be filled, five movies that we're ordering. In the first slot, we have three options because there are five options total, but if the thriller is going to be played fourth and the horror movie is going to be played fifth, then those two are not possibilities for the first one. So there are three possibilities, the other three movies. Then there are two movies that aren't the thriller or the horror that can go in the second slot, and then one movie that can go in the third slot. And then the thriller goes in the fourth slot, and the horror movie goes in the fifth slot. You can also fill in these slots by filling in the fourth slot and the fifth slot first with ones, and then recognizing that there are three movies left to go into the remaining three slots. In any case, this tells us that there are six ways that the thriller could be played fourth and the horror movie could be played fifth. The other way to do this is to use permutations. And the way to do that is to notice that if the thriller is fourth and the horror is fifth, the number of ways that that could happen is just the number of ways that we could order the first three movies. So there are three slots that we still have to fill, three movies to fill them, so 3p3, permutations where n is 3 and r is 3. And of course, that turns out to be exactly six as well. Then the denominator, or the number of ways that we could order these movies in total without this restriction, again, we can use the fundamental counting principle. There are five movies that can go in the first slot, four in the second slot, three in the third slot, and then two and then one. And five times four times three times two times one is 120. So there are 120 total possibilities. That, too, we could do as a permutation problem, where we have five slots to fill, five movies to choose from, and we're organizing them, so it's a permutation problem where n and r are both five. Again, if we use the calculator for that, we get 120. But it turns out that these permutation problems can all be done with the fundamental counting principle, so I've shown that here. Then, of course, the probability that this scenario happens is the number of ways that this scenario happens divided by the total number of possibilities. So if we divide 6 by 120, that's the probability. And of course we can simplify that fraction down to 1 over 20, or write it as a decimal, which is 0 0.05. So there's a 5% chance that if we randomly organize the movies, the thriller will end up in the fourth slot, and the horror movie will end up in the fifth slot.